Hey, Strig Lines, in, uh, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can affect the new. So when I hit Control N, it's gonna come up with a new file. And this is the, um, I have this built into my template, right? I don't, I do have a hot string, right? So just to confuse you here. And when I type this, um, it pretty much puts in the same thing, right? Cause I use this a lot, but I figured, hey, I, I, why don't I just add this to my new file template? And that way I don't have to add it when I create a new file. So um, you can adjust that, of course, by going to OmniSearch, look for new file template, there it is. And then you have this little window here showing you what's in there, right? And this is where you can make an adjustment. Let's say, um, so I'll save that. And then um, let's go ahead and start a new file. And now that's part of my template. Right, so I don't actually want that in my template. So let me go ahead and change that. New file template. So just if you have things that you, you like to have in your new script when you start, um, it's a great easy way to do this. By the way, um, my include default settings is a, it's a, um, that default settings file is a, a file that just has things like single instance force, um, set batch lines to minus one and a bunch of other things that just optimize uh, your um, script to be running, you know, currently and taking the focus, which because when I'm developing, I don't want to be waiting for other stuff. I want I want my focus to be on auto hotkey and have it working fast. So um, and often I, I have a, you know, global variable set up object up here that I can stuff things into. And it was that was one I picked up from Maestria that it's just it's easier just to set it up in front and then you know you have it and um, you don't have to declare it because I now thankfully I end up working with objects lots but anyway have a great day thanks